It's a beautiful day on the railway. You're seated in a luxurious Pullman coach, enjoying the view, when suddenly, a steward leans over your table and quietly slides the window shut. Odd. A moment later, it happens on the other side. What's going on? A few seconds later, it feels like the train has plunged into a tropical storm. Water lashes the windows and a passenger behind you screams in shock as droplets splash onto her expensive dress. But it's not a storm, it's something much more dramatic. What you just experienced? That's a tender overflow, a spectacular moment in railway history when steam locomotives used water troughs to refill on the move. A small miscalculation by the firemen and passengers in the front carriages got an unexpected soaking. For railway photographers, this was a moment of pure gold, a rare and thrilling sight to capture. But for passengers, it was a very wet lesson in railway travel. In the days of steam, one challenge always remained. How to keep a train moving for hundreds of miles without stopping for water? Steam engines burned coal, but they also needed thousands of gallons of water to keep running. If they stopped for refills, journey times dragged on for hours. That's when one brilliant engineer had an idea that would revolutionise railway travel forever. Meet John Ramsbottom, the genius who solved this problem in 1860. His idea. Instead of stopping, trains could scoop up water while still moving. Here's how it worked. Long cast iron water troughs were placed between the tracks. Steam engines were fitted with a retractable scoop under their tender. As the train passed over the trough, the scoop lowered into the water. The speed of the train forced water upwards into the tender. Just like that, a train could refill its water tanks at full speed. No stops needed. But while the idea was brilliant, things didn't always go according to plan. If the fireman forgot to lift the scoop in time, the tank would overfill, sending gallons of water surging out the vents and drenching the crew. Passengers sitting too close to the front quickly learned to shut their windows before the train hit the water trough, or they'd be in for a very wet surprise. In one famous incident, two high-speed trains passed each other over a water trough. One train was scooping up water, while the other had an open coal tender. The resulting water explosion knocked coal off the tender and smashed the windows of the other train. Water troughs were almost entirely a British invention. Over 140 sets were installed at 60 locations across the UK. A few were used in France and the USA, but nowhere else embraced them quite like Britain. They enabled record-breaking non-stop train runs, including the legendary London to Scotland Express services. For over 100 years, water troughs kept steam locomotives running at full speed. But as steam trains disappeared in the 1960s, the need for water troughs vanished with them. Today, not a single water trough remains on Britain's railways. But their legacy? It lives on in the golden age of railway travel. Would you have dared to sit in the front carriage of a train speeding over a water trough? Let us know in the comments below. And if you love stories of railway history, don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible train adventures. Ventures.